Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm here with the Blackboard Belly Band with an insert. And so I'm gonna be using this black paper for my belly band. I'm gonna pull out my book. I wanna make sure that it's going to fit. So, I, you guys, I haven't made my journal, but I know that if I make my belly band to fit this right here, that will be good. I might have to add some, um, like washi tape or something to the outside to make it reach the sides. But sometimes when you're making your ephemera, before you make your journal, which is what I've been doing, because I just, just don't, I'm just not in the mood. Oh, you guys, I like that size right there. But for a blackboard, I think I want it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna cut it and then I'll tell you how big it went with. Okay, so get our little measure out here. So we are six and an eighth by three and five eighths. Okay, there we go. Six and eight by three and five eighths. I have some extra black left and I really like this. Now, I think um, my blackboard is gonna have rounded edges because I'm kind of thinking of the one that you know you would have at your desk more than the, kind of, okay? I'm gonna end up kind of doing both, but so I'm gonna round the corners. And so this is, uh, this was a scrap of paper. It was actually an insert that was in some packaging. Um, I'm just gonna turn my, my list over because I don't see any other scratch paper here. And I'm gonna go ahead and go around this with my gold pen. Looks like this is my old gold pen. We'll put it in the, we'll put it in the spam can upside down see if it can grab some more ink and here we go with our new one again this is my pen from Dollar Tree I love these gold pens and I'm tr hoping that it'll kind of look like a wooden frame Now I'm going to come in because I don't think that that was quite big enough. So I'm, I'm giving it a frame. Wow, that was... <laughs> So this is what I was thinking, you know, the little chalkboards that you'd have at your, at your desk. Okay, there we go. Okay, then we'll give it a little extra, make it look, even though it's gold, make it look a little witty. I don't know. Okay, so there's my blackboard, okay, for the belly band. Now, I have, somewhere up here, I have a couple, I have a couple of things. I have a ABC coloring book. And look at this last page. I could not believe, look at this last page. Elephant and a giraffe and a monkey and a zebra, a parrot, a flamingo. Oh my gosh, so darn cool. Um, and then I'm also, and then look, a yo-yo. <laughs> zebra, so zipper, there's a zipper. There's a yo-yo, yarn, 
Ooh, I like the ruler. You are the yardstick. Okay, I like the yardstick a lot. Okay, I'm going for those. And let's see. Okay, but I also like the alphabet. Oh my gosh, I like the alphabet. I'm going to do the alphabet. You guys, you know how, I don't know if yours did, but I have, the school would have, or might have the alphabet going across the top of the chalkboard um, when you're learning about the alphabet and then maybe when you're learning about cursive, it might might have been in cursive writing if you learned cursive. If not, the rest of those that did earn it, learn it, they have secret code. <laughs> we'll have secret code, you guys. Okay, so I have that from a coloring book. And I'm going to let it go off the edge, okay? If I need to cut it off, I'll cut it off. But otherwise, I might do a little tab kind of thing over here. You know, it's, it's my prerogative, right? Okay, so this is regular. I just don't have time to wait for that glue to work. Tom is coming home, and suppose we're going to a class to learn about a special radio a special weather radio that the fire department is handing out to civilians. Um, and we are going to learn, learn about the radio. So along with other people, I love it with that up there. Now I had an idea. I have an old, old math book and I thought, you know what? I was, I, I have a couple things, okay? I have a couple ideas. I want to find a, an equation. Okay. Okay, so there's an equation. And so I thought I could put this on there. Okay, so this is old book. Okay, um, and then I have I have some paint. I have some paint, and I hope I have a little tiny, teeny, tiny paintbrush. You know what? I could use a stencil. what I could just use that okay hopefully this will work and I'll just clean this up before we go on to the next thing okay so I'm gonna put paint right here okay paint is one of the things I hadn't used yet Equals. Okay. We'll just leave it because there's not a lot of room left. Okay. And there's some numbers and stuff. We'll keep that for for later. And then 
Okay, so I have this over here. Okay. Oh. Ah, look at we got one on each side. Which one do I I like the look of? I like this one better. I'm glad we looked. Okay, this page is very brittle or I would have possibly gone ahead and um made a pocket or a tuck out of it but it's I mean it is okay we could we could we could make it that he is our little monkey is the one that is writing and we could turn this into chalk okay so this could be our chalk we need to let that dry. So we're gonna put it up here, let it dry. We'll go ahead and put our little guy down. Why not, right? He's got the answer, doesn't he? Uh-oh, I, um, <laughs> I just put glue where there is not gonna be. Okay. Okay, so we'll let that dry and then we'll put we'll add that into his his paw right there or his hand. I don't know. Do they have hands or paws, you guys? Little monkey chimpanzee guys. Okay. So there is that. So now we need an insert that will go inside this. And I thought we could use what was left of this. I should have made it one plus two. This has got three, three zebras. That's okay. We've got numbers. We've got paint. We haven't used paint yet, so this this is our paint. Okay. Okay. So that will fit in there. I'm going to set this aside so that it can dry. We'll put it right up here. And... I'm going to want something to back that. Okay, I'm going to get into, we have not used any of the new digital. And it is on sale. Today is the last day that it is on sale. And I think we'll go ahead and use one of the... Will it fit on a tag? It's too small for a tag, so let's use a page. Sometimes it, I really like to use a page. Um, to oh, I, I like that actually. We'll go with that. I like to use a page because I can get a, a larger tag. So I think that'll be be good. Um, do you think we should maybe back it with some book page or you know what? I, I like I like all of this, so I don't want to I don't want to lose that. Of course, it could go it could go under that, right? Not big enough. Okay, so got my book page. Find one that has a full page of text. There we 
go. Put our glue down. So this was from a Westways Triple A magazine. They have, oh my gosh, they they are a great magazine, and I ended up I've got like years of them because I, I kept thinking that I would go through it and um, pull out the <laughs> places that I want to go, and I haven't done it, and but I needed I needed the space. So I went through the magazines and I pulled out pictures and stories on the places that I wanted to go and pictures on stories on things that uh, digital or digitals, videos, journals that I have coming up that I might want. I'm holding it with my left and ripping it with my right. Just getting that extra lip around the outside. Thing about not being able to go at an angle is I do actually get some words. Okay, so I was gonna back this put this on here and back it with some of that paper, but you know what? We can go ahead and back this to itself, which I think is great. Okay, I do not need the whole page. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna go in squiggly, squiggly, um, so that way, it's probably got glue where I cut it. Okay? Squiggly. I was able to get some fabric tack this time when I went to Michael's. I did have, I thought I had a 50% off, but I ended up, that was uh, for one of the other stores. So I had a 40% off. And I got a big one. I've been getting it um, because there, I couldn't get it at the other stores and I've been getting it at Walmart. It's, um, okay, I'm gonna put it right in the middle and then I'm gonna cut around it, okay? Oh, I like it. So we have book page, digital, and we have the magazine, which was um, book page also could be trash because it did get thrown away once I took the stuff out of it. Okay, wish me luck here. There we go. And I'm just eyeballing the, the outside, but I am going to make sure that it is less than eight inches long. Okay, I'm not worried about how wide it is, but I am a little concerned about how tall. I need to make sure that it will fit in the journal. So we'll go to about right there. Wow, doesn't that make a nice... Yeah, I like it. Okay, so... Um, I think we can go ahead and I'm not gonna make it a tag I'm gonna make it a, a card so I'm gonna go around with my corner rounder this is a really cool one it's got three different sizes to go around it and so there's that I oh my gosh I love it I love it I love it um, Let's see. I'm looking around. Okay, so remember that this is going to be, I think I'll put it in. I'll put my belly band so that it's up high. So we see this little guy, okay? Or we can put it so you see all the, ooh, I like that. That's how we're gonna put it, 
okay? So you can figure out how you're gonna set your belly band in by where your tag is gonna sit. I really, I like that with all that wildlife. Okay, we haven't used a Sally lace in a while, so I think we'll do a Sally lace. Um, so, there we go. I call it Sally Lace because it came out of my box of items from the estate sale for my sister-in-law. And I like having the, it's, it's uh, strange to have the reminder um, but it's, I don't know. I'm gonna be quiet now. <laughs> uh, okay, I have, I have some of that, nope. I have this, yep. I like that we have this green. We've got green here. That will be helpful to that page. I'm gonna just do it like that. Okay. Okay, so we have our four items for both. And so that will be our um, blackboard belly band and I did coloring book gold pen old book fabric paint and we are going to be adding this chalk this little piece of chalk whoop <laughs> once it dries you know what well Lay down. It's like stringy cheese. Let me see. I got this. Okay. It's like, can I hold it from here? Cut it. Close your eyes. <laughs> I'll set it in that glue. There, he's got his chalk. <laughs> oh, Julie, you are so silly. Okay, the that glue goes in there because it's the one that wants to fall, keep falling over. Okay, there it is. Um, okay, once more. Children's um, coloring book, or kids coloring book. The gold pen, which is one of my U picks. The paint, which this is the first time I've used paint. Uh, we have fabric, we have book page, and we have old book. Um, we also, on this one, so on our insert, we have book page, book page, digital, lace, and we have trash right here, this little playing card. Um, you know what? I think we need one more thing on here. I'm going to set this aside. I'm really, I'm worried I'm going to have my chalk rolling down the hill. Um, let's turn this over and let's go ahead, speaking of chalk, so one of our things is chalk or ice cube. Oh, I like the giraffe. Okay, um, let's see what colors I have. <laughs> so I have this palette, 
I don't even know how to, yeah. This is my um, Halloween eyeshadows. Um, and then I had uh, this one was in there. It was a Mary Kay one. I think we can do, let's go with, let's do the giraffe. Okay. Oh, that's pink. Let's go with this side. Okay. And I do have a palette of chalk, but all I can find is the brand new one that I have. I can't find the one that I've been using for all these years. So, here we are with eyeshadow. So, go ahead and take out your eyeshadow. That is one of the things, um, chalk or eyeshadow. And you'll see on the list, I, I tried to, to use, whoop, I just got green. Okay, go back to the yellow. Yellow. I can use that flamingo and that parrot in my Flamingo Friday. Have you checked out the Flamingo Friday um, everybody's things? Please check them out. You can look at Flamingo Fridays 2022. Well, I don't have a brush in here. That's okay. We're going to come over here. And we're going to color him in. I'm going to use this um, bronzy color, I think. Yeah. We'll get his spots. How fun is this? <laughs> he, he got his toenails done. So have you used eyeshadow? In your art projects before um, it's really great to be able to use like eye eye colors or cheek colors when you're doing faces um, to literally do makeup on them on things with the shading and the highlighting go I have a colored giraffe and I think we'll and the monkey would be cute done brown <laughs> so let's put this in here so we don't lose it eyeshadow I get to mark those off we get to mark off a few things that we've used so we used chalk and eyeshadow we used napkins, we used paint, we used our quilting items. So we need to use wrapping paper and the jelly plate potato floral um, or finger paint print. Okay, dun -dun. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut him, fussy cut this little guy out. of the coloring book <laughs> how fun I think this is fun I think it's fun so we have used our at least our four items for today's uh, project the blackboard belly band and insert and we even have the back of the insert ready to be journaling space and we are going to have some fun decoration on it I think it's going to need a little bit of something else along with it not just him sitting there all by himself on here um, 
those little extra things use up our items that would go into our stash but also you know that it just I think it makes a difference when you go ahead and add the extra okay let's go ahead and go up So hopefully finishing this um, this video and then I can just work on the wedding for two days and maybe I can get it done. I don't have to, like I can do a video if I need to, but I, um, if I feel like it, but I, I don't, I don't have to do one. I kind of like this up here at the top. Like I said, I want to use things the thing is is I think we'd rather do it wherever he's gonna touch yes okay um, I did wash my brush yes I did I've been good been doing good <laughs> about that so far so good okay so let's go ahead we'll put this down And I'm just, I'm trying to use up things that, um, yeah, that. I would end up being, they would end up getting thrown out because it's that time. So this gel medium needed to be used. And I'm okay with the wrinkles. Are you okay with wrinkles? Are you not a... I actually... I like them on, on these things. Okay. So there's that. Um, I don't know. Well, it's one way to find out. See, it is pretty thick, which makes me think that it's on its way out. Okay, tail doesn't need to be wrinkled. Okay. Well, he's still yellow. There we go. We have a giraffe on the back side. I love it. I love it. I love it. And we're going to go ahead and clean up the edge. Just take our scissors right up the edge. I'm using my Teflon scissors. And there we go. So we're going to go ahead and let that dry. Oh, man. I'm just rubbing. There's a couple places that the glue got on, and I'm just blending them in. Okay, okay. I'm not going to set this down on the table again, but there we go. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is our insert, and we have our blackboard belly band up here <laughs> with our chalk our little monkey who's in charge of the chalk and I love this embellishment I think it is so much fun you know we haven't marked things off in a couple of days so let's go ahead and mark off the ones that we have done 
we have wow we still have so many to do we've done the quilted pocket we have done the blackboard belly band with insert and I thought we had done more than that but there you go there you go we'll put this down and I hope you have enjoyed this and I cannot wait to see what you do for your blackboard belly band with insert. Find something to celebrate every day. Check out the last day of the zoo animal and the children that would go to the zoo. Along with the flinch card, the bases kit, and the grungy lace kit. All of those are on sale in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. Um, don't forget about the brand new backgrounds and ephemera. So postcards and uh, tags and pages using the things from the Zoo Animal Kit. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.